Well, hello, hello. This is Rosa RCG Creations. How are you doing? How's it going? I'm bringing to you a dinner meal. Tonight I'm going to be making all rotten potatoes out of my dehydrated potatoes and sausage. I don't think we're going to do a side dish because typically we don't eat a side dish with it. And since hubby and I don't really eat veggies because we don't care for them, but I eat my, uh, we eat our veggies through veggie powder that I uh, dehydrate myself. And that's how we get our veggies that we're supposed to get on a regular basis. But anyway, I want to show you today's video is using what's already in your pantry. Now, you can see the top. You can hear this. Hold on. That's not sealed. I didn't vacuum seal this because number one, it was in a full jar. This is the last of my all rotten potatoes that I did maybe two or three months ago. I didn't do a video because I've done this before. There's another, there is a video down there somewhere. I'll, if I remember, I'll link it so you can see how you dehydrate, how you slice and dehydrate for au gratin potatoes. But, and as you can see, you knew that it wasn't sealed. There's nothing totally wrong with these because, number one, it's only been a few months since I did it. So they're all very hard. Hear that? Okay. Now, that's going to be more than enough for hubby and I for our dinner and lunch for tomorrow. So what I'm going to do is put you put boiling hot water and you coat it just barely above the, the food itself. Then you let it sit for like 20 minutes. Then you drain it and you cook it how you want to cook it. You're going to bake it. You're going to fry it. If you're going to fry it, I highly recommend that you towel dry, paper towel dry the potatoes so you don't get a uh, splatter of fire. I splatter from the grease because it's water on the potatoes. They're moist, uh, overly moist. So, I just got through heating up my water. Let me stop. You can see that steam. Now I'm going to add my water to just enough to coat all the potatoes. And if you get a little bit overboard, that's okay because you're going to strain it anyway in a strainer. Leftover water. If I don't do anything with it, I'm going to reheat it up again and because this is winter and I'm going to put that boiling hot water down the drain. Actually, actually, you know what? I can do it right now. I don't need to do it later. It's just scalding hot. That'll save me time and all that. And now I'm just going to put this back on my stove. Let that cool off. Then I'll wash it and put it away. Now I'm not going to touch that because that is very hot. So I just want to show you, let me bring you up so you can see. See? There they all are. I hope you can see that. And it's a little bit more than water than I wanted, but that's okay because I'm going to drain it. Because I'm going to be making these into fried potatoes with very, very little oil on my little pan over there. So this is going to sit for like about 20 minutes. I'm going to go do my other chores. Then I got to get done because Hoppy doesn't get home till about 8 o'clock. Well, he gets off work at 8 and doesn't get home to 8.30. So I like to make sure that he has a hot meal. So uh, right now while he's working late hours, it doesn't happen all the time. Uh, we just eat late. But then we don't go to bed till 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning anyway. So it's not that big of a deal for us. So anyway, we'll let this sit. Soak. 20 minutes. Then we'll bring you back when we get to the next phase. And what we do next. And then we get ready to fry these up. And then we'll add the sausage once the potatoes are totally fried. We'll bring you back. Okay, we're back. <clears throat> so now, let me get my strainer. I'm going to, oh look, see how they evaporated and they got all full from the water. They soaked it up. They're rehydrated now. So I'm here with my strainer. I'm going to dump it, wash that in a minute, and because I'm going to fry these because I'm going to make fried potatoes, I'm going to pat, top, pat, pat, drive them down with the paper towels. And while that, I do that, I'm going to turn my burner 
with my amp pan. I've got a little bit of oil in here. See that? Not a whole lot, but enough to coat the potatoes. I'm going to turn my burner on. Just gonna pat them dry to soak up the excess moisture and you can see they're flimsy see that that means they're rehydrated I like to season it I don't do salt because I'm trying to stay away from it much I've been doing no salt for many many years as far as cooking is concerned but I do add salt what on my plate when I'm getting ready to eat something. So I'm not totally away for it. I'm just trying not to. And you know what? If you check all your ingredients in your packages, you'd be surprised at how much salt is in so much stuff. Now I'm just going to pat it dry for the extra moisture. Get myself a piece of dry towel just soak up that moisture on those that didn't get soaked up I just don't want to have a lot of splash, splattering of the oil from the moisture of the potatoes okay so back of them are all good they're soaked up hope that one's a little moist okay I think we're done let me put a little baby one in here and I'm going to test my oil to see if it's hot it's starting to sizzle a little bit let me turn you over so you can see because from here on in, we're just going to be at the frying. <coughs> Over here at the frying area. Let me get you a little bit closer so you can see that. Sorry about the move there. My tripod's not going to let me go too close. Because you know what? You work with what you have. Don't mess with it. <laughs> I am no expert. Go and look. See how it's starting to sizzle? I can go ahead and start adding. You don't want to add, you don't, if you don't want your potatoes to be really greasy, don't add them to your oil or your frying pan until it's pretty darn hot. these in there and I'm going to stir that oil a little bit throw this paper towel away I get my I like to use my little baby spatula I have weak wrist so I don't like to use anything that's too heavy now all I'm doing is just stirring it around as you can see try to make sure that each potato is coated I want to cook these ev evenly and at the same temp, but I don't want to have too much oil in my pot, in my pan, not my pot, my pan. And we're lucky because just the two of us, so I can do a lot of this pretty evenly, but if you have a bigger family, they're going to overlap, no big deal, you just continue to toss them or do it in batches. I remember when we were a family of, so you had the three boys, three, four, six, it was a little, uh, I didn't use a great big old pants, <laughs> which I have two of them still, but I don't use them very often, unless we're doing a big family meal, which we don't do too much of those anymore, we're all getting too old, <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to let that simmer, and while that's simmering, I'm going to go ahead and I'll bring you over, I'm going to get my sausage, I'm just going to angle this just a little bit, excuse the move of the camera. Oh, oh, turn my light on, see a little bit better. And we're just using store bought. This is uh, Hillshire Farms, Cabal Polka, 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 
Polska Kabalsa. I don't know how to pronounce that name. <laughs> And you slice it. I know some people make put this whole thing whole. You do what's best for you and your family. Let me wash my hands right quick. Okay, and I'm just basically I don't need to fork no more. And I use the red. When I'm cutting meat, so that's why I only use meat. I have one that's yellow, one that's green, and I think one that's blue. Yeah, a little blue one. So one's for my veggies, one's for um, odd, odds and ends because I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm just slicing them to the thickness that hubby and I care for. And I'm not going to show you do the whole thing because you don't need to see that. And then because we don't like them really big. I personally don't like them really big. My hubby does. I'm just going to cut them in force. Stack them up as much as you want. To speed up at the time. But you know, we've got a little bit of time for those things to be done. So, I don't rush it. Because I know I have this to do. And as you can see, I already, start, I already did a load of dishes. I've got a little bit more here to do. But I'm going to wait and do that at the very end. When it's all done, that way I have another sink full, and I'll just empty up my dish drain and do that. So, I'm finished cutting this up, and I don't put the sausage, this is just me, you do how you want to do it. I don't put my sausage in my potatoes to heat up, because this is already cooked. I don't do that until the potatoes are totally done, okay, and then I just stick it in there and I'll just move it around. And basically, I'm just warming the meat up is really all I'm doing, is heating up the meat. So we'll bring you back when we get to that time frame. And then we'll go to this next phase. Okay, we're back to the next phase. I like to put a lid on my, when I'm frying potatoes. Because I don't like hard potatoes. I don't like them soft. So that keeps the moisture in. Dump the extra moisture from the lid, and as you can see, they're a little on the toasty side, but that's the way I like them. And I've turned down my heat because now, basically, oh, I don't want to cook these anymore. See my heat turned down? I just want to heat up my sausage. Stir that around a little bit. Put my lid back on. Let it heat and get a little bit of moisture in there so that softens up the hard potatoes. It won't totally soften them, but it makes them a lot softer than they are if I continue to fry them. On that medium high heat I should have actually cooked it a little too high I should have gone down a little bit to like a medium low but I didn't you know hey things happen so now I'm just gonna let this simmer for me maybe set five to seven minutes and then they should be totally done then we'll do a taste test I'll bring you back when we get to that point Okay, we're back. I let it simmer for about another maybe seven to eight minutes. And I went ahead and put it on the paper towel. Because even if I do anything with frying, I like to have it soak on a paper towel if possible. That way it'll soak up whatever juices are in there. And as you can see, there you go. See, there's the oil that's the residue. And I'll just let this soak for a few minutes. If it's really, really greasy, I'll get another paper towel and put it on top. And pat it just like I did when I first started with the potatoes when I dried them from the moisture but here's a taste test mmm yummy 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 now these are still a little crunchy because you know I told you in the earlier I, I overdid it I had too much of a high heat 
they did get softer when I put the lid on, but they're still hard. But they're cooked. They're totally cooked. So we're eating dehydrated potatoes that are rehydrated, and we're cooking it as a meal. So not too bad, not too shabby. I personally don't want to add any more salt to it, but I definitely will be adding some pepper. So go ahead and add your seasonings to it or whatever you think you need to do. But it is a little on the greasy side for my taste. Like I said, I'm trying to go low cal, trying to watch my calories. Oh, hubby just came in. So I do like the crunchy part. So that's a good one. So it's a thumbs up. Definitely two thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit comment, like, and subscribe. Take care now. Bye.